Welcome to another episode of The Latest with Maya. Today, I am very excited to be having a conversation with actor, author, and activist Lolita Molina. Uh, thank you so much for being on my show. Um, thank you so much. Yeah, I am uh, very excited to be talking with you. Thank you. Yeah, um, so let's uh, get started. Um, my first question for you is, what are people surprised to learn about you? Uh, my dark humor. <laughs> I <laughs> when Dark joke, uh, I think that surprises people the most. <laughs> uh yeah <laughs> yeah my um family and I have a very dark sense of humor, so I totally get that <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> um so do you have any daily or weekly rituals? uh I would say daily is I wake up and the first thing I do is have make an iced coffee. Uh, or else I won't be able to get through the day. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've ever gone a day where I didn't do that. So I think that's my little my little ritual. <laughs> cool. Um, yeah. So what movie or show do you find yourself quoting more often than you'd like? I don't I <sighs> I don't really think I have one, which is weird to say considering my job, but <laughs> yeah. I don't really find myself quoting one particular thing. It's just whenever I see the opportunity and I know of a quote, I'll do it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have um so many shows and movies that I quote like basically on a daily basis. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, it's just if I if I see the opportunity and I know of a quote that's gonna fit that conversation or that joke, I will I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, what is the best song to describe your life right now? Oh. See, my life is kind of a jumble of different things, and I don't think I've really found a song that makes me go yeah that's a good historical representation of what has happened to me yeah. I don't think there is one there's just so many where they fit different parts of my life but I don't think I just have one where I'm like you want a summary of me listen to this I don't think I have that yet <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah um so what in your life brings you the most joy I would say interacting with the people who follow me and hearing their stories if they can relate to a dark humor thing that I make um, people just being genuinely curious about how I live life I would also say my dog my dog brings me a lot of joy she's a little a little rascal and a really good cat nap brings me a lot of joy when I need it <laughs> I love that yeah um yeah I have um a dog too and she just constantly brings me so much joy and makes me laugh and <laughs> oh yeah um so uh out of everything that you have uh, accomplished um is there something that uh you are the most proud of I would say the movie I was in I'm not really allowed to say the name of it because of the strike um but that was my first ever big movie with a huge studio behind it and it happened much quicker than I thought it was going to once I started the whole world of auditions mm -hmm. I know it didn't get the best receiving criticisms from certain groups of people but I'm proud of it I love it to pieces so I would say that one in the time span and how short that time span was for it to happen was really cool for me oh wow 
Yeah, I um yeah, I know what movie you're talking about and I love that movie. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um yeah, so what lessons from your childhood have most impacted your world view? You can't please everyone and not everyone's going to like you. That that took a while for me to really understood what it meant. And I had to work on it for many years to stop being such a people pleaser. So I would say that was the most valuable lesson once I learned it, just how much easier life became once I accepted that. So I would say that lesson. Oh, I love that. Um, so how do you keep yourself motivated? I... When I have the motivation, I set everything aside and make sure I try to get it done as fast as possible because I don't know how long that motivation is going to last. Yeah. And when I don't have the motivation, I'm learning to just let it pass, let it go through the motions that it needs to go through, or else the burnout will just last longer. So I'm learning that it's still a struggle, but it's getting better. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Um. So what three words best describe you? Resilient, sarcastic, giving. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Um, so what genre of movie would your life story be told as? A dark dramatic comedy <laughs> then there's some humorous moments but they're still dark so I would say a dark dramatic comedy yeah. oh I love that yeah yeah um so I am pop culture obsessed and I go on stages of shows that I just cannot stop watching um what show are you currently obsessed with? I don't watch a lot of TV, which is not good, again, given my job. <laughs> so, oh, I'll watch it 800 times. And my friends will have to tie me down to the couch and say, you're going to watch this new show or else I'm just not motivated to do it. So right now I'm watching Game of Thrones for like the third, fourth time. Mm -hmm. Uh I just don't watch a lot of television. I watch a lot of YouTube and TikTok. I, I don't watch scripted shows as often as I should. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, when I um, get sucked into a show, like I just cannot stop watching if that's all I want to watch. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, right now I've been um binge watching the show Suits. Oh okay, okay. My my family member watched it. Cool. Yeah, that one is really good. So <laughs> yeah. Um so who has had the biggest impact on you personally and professionally? My my late father. Uh, he passed away in 2012, and he basically is the the foundation for who I am as an adult. So I would say I give credit to him. <laughs> oh, I love that. And I'm really sorry to hear that, too. It's okay, but thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, my last... Um, question for you is so I love inspiring and motivational quotes and this week my favorite quote is by Mel Brooks and it's also uh, an, a quote that just kind of makes me laugh also um, and it's as long as the world is turning and spinning we're gonna be dizzy and we're gonna make mistakes, um, which I just love. Um, when I find the we're gonna be dizzy part, that whole part yeah. makes me laugh. And then, um, 
Yeah, I just love that quote. Um, is there a quotation that has inspired you lately? There was one that my father had in his journals and it's in my Instagram bio. So I, of course I'm on the spot. I'm not gonna remember exactly how it goes, but I think the rough translation because it's Latin was um, a heart works best with integrity and sincerity. It's, some, it's something along those lines. And basically your resilient heart is strongest when you have drive behind it and when you have honor and you're true to who you are is how you're going to function best in life so I think that's my favorite quote hence why it's in my Instagram bio and I I, I love that quote oh I love that yeah um well I have just had so much fun talking to you and I um I've been looking forward to this all day and I just really appreciate you taking the time and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Um, and that's a wrap on today's edition of the latest with Maya.